So back on this job today, I just finished up putting down the coarse gravel on this driveway. So that would be great to for while they're building the house um, to get cement trucks and stuff in here. And eventually this will be finished with some finer gravel on top of it. So today I am here to finish doing the clearing. So I had already done quite a bit of it. Um, but there's a few more trees in this corner that the customer wants taken down. Um, and, you know, a lot of them, you know, there's a bunch of dead ash trees over there too. So those, those all got to go. Um, so the plan is to push them over with the excavator. Then I'll use that to clean the stumps off. Then all the brush and everything can go in the burn pile right there. And all the decent logs I'll stack up right there. And then after that, I'll be digging the foundation that's going kind of right by where my car is there. But I really want to get this pile burned soon. But since the, the way the ground is, or... So I, I don't want to burn this pile until like it rains or snows because there's a lot of little brush around here that's like close to the ground and that's the type of stuff that does burn and people usually get upset when you set the woods on fire so definitely gonna wait for a rainier day before burning that but that would be a fun fun fire so all right so I'll start over here on all these trees all right a real good safety tip when taking down dead trees especially these dead ash trees you got to push them over very gently because if you just slam into that with the bucket it doesn't take much for one of those branches to break off the top and fall on you while you're working um, especially on this excavator I really don't have like rollover protection on that or a strong roof that roof is just kind of delicate plastic so you know just gently push the trees over and uh and it's and it's fun and watch it too you know a hard hat you know it's not a bad idea either but more important just watch the top of the tree make sure you're not knocking branches down all right so let me get started
finished taking down all the trees that the customer wanted removed. So now it's time to start cutting them up and then I can use the skid steer to move them all around. So for cutting them up, um, cut off the stump and then cut the logs into usable lengths. Usually around 12 footers is good because it's um, you can load those in a truck and move them around easily. Um, I'll probably separate out all the firewood stuff from all the sawmill stuff. So anything big like this, you know, so this you cut it here and probably cut it, you know, right about there or here. And this is a good eight footer for the sawmill. I think this is a black walnut, so that's nice wood. And then all the smaller stuff, just cut it up and uh, that's firewood. And then all the tops, you just cut them off. You know, usually anything under four or five inches. Um, you know, when you're doing a big job like this, the, the point is to, to get the job cleared, not mess with a ton of firewood. So, you know, working on cutting up all those little branches would, would take too long, so. All right, so I'll get started. Sometimes. 